got about 22 kilometers today heading from Bridgewater to Norton Summit need to make a, a big decision about which route to take one goes over Mount Lofty Summit one goes through the Botanic Gardens the second route that's a lot longer day 11 just had the night with the family in the YHA at Mount Lofty lovely place to stay highly recommend it has everything you need except bed sheets and food now we're off to the Bridgewater Oval where I left off yesterday I'm gonna hike with the kids for a little while it's gonna be a great day okay we just crossed the oval and back out on the trail at the spot I left off yesterday let's go guys got my four cuties with me for a little way today say hi Hi. <laughs> Playground in the centre of Bridgewater. It's pretty chilly. Bumped into the guy who was bike packing again. It was good to see Hubby and the kids last night, spend some time with them. I don't think they've missed me, so that's good. <laughs> Just a little bit though. Not a lot. A lot? Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is a waterfall. Don't go too close to the edge. Down and down and down and down. Julian! <laughs> don't scare people. Echo! Well, don't. You'll be really cold then. That. What is it? A bug? It's a rock. Fake bug. Yeah, I don't know. Waterfalls. You tried to warn us of Julian's shenanigans, didn't you? You can go either way, but <laughs> I think the stairs here to make it easier. Sylvia, what do you think of the hike so far? Good. It's good? Wow. Don't give it an SOS. No. Probably have. Yeah. Oh, a little fairy village. Yeah. You're knocking, no one's answering. Yeah. You missed the door. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, the secret house. Yell them to the chimneys. Now the creepy tunnel. Green, there's a white square. <laughs> this is a draft blowing through. Sunshine. Oh, different minerals in the rocks. Here we are, Mount George Conservation Park. Carrying like a baby. No. <laughs> I'm sure you could walk, Sylvia. We must have missed a marker and we walked on the wrong side of the creek or something. That looks like we're back on track now. Does it matter? Or maybe we didn't miss a marker, but that, it's at the corner there. Nice and trail. Yep, nice and trail. Oh, it's getting steep now. Don't trip, Julian, because it's getting steep. Beautiful blue skies and scenery, but it's freezing cold <laughs> this morning. Wow, beautiful. Mommy, I think I know why my tummy's hurting. Why? If I do a weave, then my tummy will stop hurting, but I don't want to weave right now, or else, um, what is those things that sit there? 
Edwin, what do you think of the walk so far? Good. It's good, Steve. What do you think of the walk? Not so good. Not so good. Are your feet still frozen? Yes. My what do you think, Julian? It's good. It's good. What do you think, Sylvia? I already asked you. You already answered me. And what do you guys think of Mummy doing this for 56 days all day long? I don't know. Very bad. Does it sound like something you'd like to do? No. No? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's this? Davenport Bridge over the creek. Go how the water's all calm here and then... When it gets there, you see like how it has all these little lines going through the water? Yeah. It's like mini rapids. Yeah. Mini waterfalls. Here's the golf course. There's Harvey, come to pick up the kids and take them home. And I'll keep going on to Norton Summit. Just through the golf course, just before Woodhouse. Must walk through without stopping. Must not use toilet or other facilities. Oh. Waving, bye. <laughs> I didn't think I'd really miss the family at all, but I feel a little bit sad now that they're gone. That's all right. Get back to focusing on the task at hand. And I'll see them again at Borough. For those who don't know, Woodhouse is the Scout Activity Centre where that Scouts can use. Oh, the general public can hire to use the facilities too, but my kids are in Scouts and I'm a trainee assistant Scout leader. So I've been here a few times. It's a really good place to come camping with the family. Lots of beautiful trees in here. Sunshine now and a nice big hill leaving Woodhouse to warm me up. It's quite cold earlier but don't feel like that now. Big rock to commemorate the completion of the Hyson Trail. Okay. Hmm. Tapanapa cellar door. We're a long way from Tapanapa campsite. Looking like a beautiful day for the weather. Blue skies everywhere, no clouds. It's the first day we've had that. Temperature's warmed up a little now, which is good because it was quite freezing cold this morning. Actually, it was only about six degrees, but it certainly felt cold. I want to shout out a huge thank you to Robert, my husband, for looking after the kids while I'm on this crazy adventure. I really appreciate it. And thank you for allowing me to do this and leave you alone with the kids. Also, a big thanks to my mum and dad who have helped out with some of the taxiing around of the kids to, from school and sporting events. I really appreciate the support you have given me. Ah, okay. Hudson Trail, Mount Lofty Summit. Mount Lofty Summit via Sprig Road. Mount Lofty Summit via Botanic Gardens. Walkers use Sprig Road when Botanic Gardens are closed. Saying Summit via Sprig Road. Botanic Gardens is the alternate route. Okay, I guess I'm taking the official route, which is shorter. I'm just the tiniest little bit disappointed that the official route is not through the Botanic Gardens because uh, it's really beautiful in there but it is longer and I've, I've seen it before I've... Wow, so pretty and familiar Beautiful Beautiful trees. Heart is pounding. This long, steep uphill. Wow, there's the three radio towers on top of Mount Lofty. 
seem to be working our way towards the summit of Mount Lofty right now. I thought it didn't go all the way to the summit, but we're going off. summit now continue my hike to Norton summit it's just under 15 kilometers to go apparently we've done almost nine already that went quick ah, had a lovely coffee and scone with jam and cream at the summit in no rush today there's nothing for us at Norton summit the pub is closed glad I'm going down this part today and not up <laughs> been up before and it is steep so the summit of Mount Lofty is the highest peak in the Adelaide region, a whopping 727 meters. <laughs> More like a baby hill. And there's the YHA that we stayed at uh, last night. Nice. Except I feel like I'm heading south now. Gotta get the map out and find out what's wrong. Okay, the arrows are telling me to turn. But gut hooks is telling me to go straight down waterfall gully track a bit longer. Okay, this sign says Hyson Trail. Huh. Not that clear with the Hyson markers in that spot. It's a three-way junction. Ah, oh, sunshine's beautiful. Look how the light comes through the trees. No rush today, I'm gonna to enjoy every bit. Oh wow. Mm. Now here's the signs. Yeah, so if you're Nobo and you've come over Mount Lofty where there's arrows to turn, just continue straight to the next junction and keep the YHA cottage on your left. If it comes on your right, then you've headed off on the alternate route heading south again. Keep going straight to the next junction, which is not really clear from the signs of that corner. So I'm on Chinaman's track now for a little bit after I turned off the waterfall gully track from the summit. This morning I packed up my bag and weighed it. It's got about a week of food, which is 3.7 kilos. Some heavy stuff in there like six hard boiled eggs, six cooked sausages, big salami stick. I'll eat those first to get that weight down quickly. But my total bag weight, just under two litres of water and those 3.7 kilos of food was 14.5 kilos. So a bit on the heavy side, but it feels really good on my back. So this next leg of the trip, at least until Burra, I've added something slightly ridiculous <laughs> to my bag that I will tell you about later. There's a sneak peek of it there. I've still got, you know, a way to go to Norton Summit. I almost feel like I could go further than that today, but the next official campsite is granddad's campsite and that's that's too far <laughs> and maybe we'll have some hills more hills to tire me out before Norton Summit but feeling really good any aches and pains I had yesterday are gone hey hey it's the one shanty track come down from lodge track I've done many a training hike for this Hyson through hike on the one shanty track on my training hikes, I've often 
come across the Hyson Trail signs because uh, they go through all through the Adelaide Hills I would see them and you know no one day I would be doing it and now that I am doing it it's crazy I almost can't believe that I'm you know doing it now <laughs> we're only day 11 but um, yeah it hasn't felt that hard like you don't really think I'm going for two months long you just think like one day ahead where am I stopping tonight and you make it to that point you know might be sore and exhausted but you sleep and the next morning you feel good again <laughs> that's amazing um, I'm just taking one day at a time so when I think you know I'm doing the whole Hyson 1200 kilometers or 1100 kilometers whatever it is now um, I think it's crazy I can't believe I'm doing it but when you just take it one day at a time it just seems like a small a small thing to do it doesn't seem like anything major I'm sure I'll be celebrating at the end for the big accomplishment don't mind if I do sit on that log for a few moments amazing weather today my youngest child Sylvia last night she heard a kookaburra when we're at the cottage and she was so excited about hearing the kookaburra <laughs> it's cute a few weeks back I said to the kids are you going to miss me when I'm gone for so long they said no I said are you sure you're not going to miss me and Stephen my 11 year old he says do you want us to miss you <laughs> I thought that was funny but he makes a good point no I don't want them to miss me too much <laughs> Just a little bit would be nice. Yeah, so my kids are Julian, 15. He's grown taller than any of us, any of our relatives. Stephen, who's 11. Edwin, who's nine. And Sylvia, who's six. People always tell me, oh, you've got four children. You must be so hard, you have your hands full. But in some ways, it's easier than two children or one child. Of course, it was very difficult when any of them were a baby because they take up so much of your time like but now that they're a little bit older they're not not too much of a handful they're fairly independent but you've raised them to be like that hi kids love you lots see you soon so pretty you can see the ocean out there people also tell me oh three boys oh how do you handle it how are you not tearing your hair out but i don't know i think they're fairly chilled out boys they're not you know rambunctious breaking things in the house or breaking each other's bones every day or anything like that so I decided not to get my family to bring a waterproof backpack cover out um, so I was going for 10 days with you know plenty of bits of rain my backpack there's some waterproof qualities to it so it doesn't really get uh, wet inside beautiful warming up now just had a big fright something on the edge of the path suddenly rustling the leaves <laughs> I always assume that's a lizard when I hear it but I'm sure sometimes it's the legless variety of reptile <laughs> so I'm leaving wine shanty now and this is a new place I haven't seen before Eurybella Trail That's something I'd like to do one day, haven't done it yet Look at that there, a teeny tiny baby shoe Oh Ooh, goats and sheep, big horns Munch munch Might end up doing half the Eurybella as this spot shares a track with the Hyson since soon after Mount Lofty it has actually. So many gum nuts on this tree. Oh. Seat or style, you tell me.
I won't stop and rest there because it's pretty much overlooking a private house. Oh wow, coming out to a view. Oh, we're closer to the city now than Mount Lofty. That's it right there in front of me. Sometime before Mount Lofty passed the 200 meter mark, there was no commemorating uh, distance on a marker. That's okay. Oh, here's my turn. I know we've got a couple of conservation parks to go through, so it's probably a nicer spot to stop and have some lunch. So I'll push onto there. What do you know? Cocoa and latte. <laughs> That's cute. Their name tags are on the <laughs> fence. Horse now Gully Conservation Park. Hmm. I've never walked in a horse now gully conservation park before. I saw a sign to waterfalls. So this is probably a good place to come back again. Pretty pink flowers. More of the Conservation Park roller coaster. Wee! I keep trying to spot Joe's footprints in the sand. I don't think I can see them, so maybe she's behind me. We stayed at different places last night and she walked a longer distance yesterday so I really have no idea if she's in front of me or behind me. Yep, I've just spotted a few of Joe's footprints in this more sandy area so I know she's ahead but she's also just messaged me that she's at the end point. I'm going steep down, down, down a long way now. I'm assuming Norton Summit is up high so I'm probably going to have to come up again. Ooh, this is a nice shady spot. Still aiming for guiles before I have lunch though. Didn't quite make it to guiles. There's a couple of big rocks in the path making a nice seating spot for lunch and in the shade look at this crazy huge <laughs> heavy food bag I have a couple of boiled eggs the block is a better format for the butter in this cold weather I had a squeezy pouch but that wasn't working as a squeezy pouch with such with a whole block of butter <laughs> in this weather butter and cheese Mm. That was an absolutely beautiful spot for lunch. In the shade, listening to the birds. Uh, last four kilometres to Norton Summit. I feel like I'm walking in the bottom of the gully now. Imagine this track would become a bit of a creek in the really wet weather. All the sounds and all the cares of the world are blocked out by the hills on either side of me. It's just nature, the birds' peace. So quiet. Now we've come to Giles Conservation Park. I was wondering where that was going to start. Looks like we're headed down in Horns now, Gully, and now we're going up in Giles. What's that? Ruins Track, Magic Valley Track. Giles Ruins. 
We're on the ruins track and there's some ruins. Doesn't look like there's a path that goes up there. Here's an obstacle to face. Huh. Blackberries taking over. Three main rooms. Hello. Just keep going. I can't believe it. I just saw that one, and now there's another one. <laughs> munching on the leaves in that tree. I think this one looks a little bit younger than the other one, or smaller at least. So cute. <laughs> it's like plucking off individual leaves with its hand and eating it. Coming up to a view. Oh wow. I don't know what I'm seeing. Looks like a big lake reflecting, but I don't know what lake it could be. It's not buzzing like they often do. That's good. <laughs> Always a little concerning when they're buzzing. One on the other side of the gully. Sure, they may look out of place and ugly in the landscape, but they're the reason a lot of these tracks and trails are through here. The tracks built to get access to build the power lines. This will probably be the latest day I've finished. It's almost 3.30. I've got 1.5 kilometers to go. I was deliberately taking my time today and enjoying it. The slower pace, but my shadow is getting very long now. And the sunset is less than two hours away. So I'll probably hustle a bit to the end in Giles Conservation Park. I reckon there's a lot of potential stealth camping spots in here. Like winding down switchbacks through private property to the main road. That's nice, we don't have to walk along the main road. Thank you property owner. It's quite busy, you can hear a lot of traffic. So this is our accommodation for the evening. The residents won't mind us being here. Shelter, rainwater tank, bin, everything we need. Here's the water from the rainwater tank after filtering. There's all pine needles in the gutters, but it tastes good. Mm -hmm. 